Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3, Lactose-Free Lemon Crepes. I was in the mood for dinner. Some days you just have to break the rules. This recipe is a remix from BBC Good Food. I love dairy, but dairy doesn't love me, which is why we've gone lacto-free here. First, get your apron ready. Now you are good to start. You will need a weighing scale. Place 25 grams of vegetable spread in a bowl and melt slightly in a microwave. Here is a little trick. Place a sieve on top of your mixing bowl and then set the scale to zero. Add 140 grams of plain flour. Measure a pinch, or five grams, of table salt. Give it a nice shake until it's all sieved. Next, break two eggs into another bowl and keep that aside. We will be using lacto-free milk, but you can use any kind. Measure out 200 milliliters of milk. Next, place the sieve you just used on top of the bowl with the milk. Rub your lemon, but don't rub it the wrong way, otherwise you might have a bitter relationship. Squeeze it to make sure it's soft. Cut the lemon in half and squeeze away over the sieve. Use two hands if you need to. Here you can see how the sieve stopped all the seeds from entering the milk. Take your lemon and rub it on the sieve to really extract all the juice from the lemon vesicle. I had to Google the word vesicle just for this video. Shake the sieve and then you are ready. Once we have all the ingredients lined up, the flour and the salt, the semi-melted spread, milk and lemon juice, and eggs, we are good to go. Mix the flour and salt to create a well in the center. Whisk the eggs to break them up. Pour all the eggs into the flour mix and stir. Then pour half the milk and lemon into the bowl and continue to mix. Whisk generously. Once it has come together, you can then pour the remaining half of the milk into the mixture. Next, incorporate the semi-melted spread. Let your mix rest for 30 minutes to come together. Use a non-stick frying pan, like this one. Use a little oil spray if you have an older frying pan, as an extra precaution. Use a cork mat or trivet on your work surface. Switch on your stove to medium heat. Whisk your mix in the meantime, just in case anything has separated. Check your pan to see if it is heated up by placing your hand over the top. Do not press down. This is when you add the oil spray. Take your pan and pour in a relatively generous amount of the mixture. Use your finger to swipe the bowl to prevent drips from happening. Give the pan a nice swirl around until the entire surface has been coated thinly. Take it back to the heat. Stand by with a flexible rubber spatula. Give it a little test on the sides to see if it will release. Tapping the pan handle helps to evenly distribute force to try to release the crepe from the bottom of the pan. You can tell if the crepe is ready when you can touch the surface and it feels dry to the touch. Next, sprinkle some sugar over the surface of the crepe. Be generous as the actual crepe mix doesn't include sugar and will be savoury. Squirt some lemon juice over the crepe. Use a microplane or a fine grater for the zesting. The magic comes from the lemon zest. This is what the inside of the crepe looks like. Put it back on the heat. You don't have to cook both sides for this crepe recipe. Now it's time to flip. Don't worry if you're not confident with this part. That's not a great example. He didn't flip it perfectly either, and he's supposed to be a professional. That's all right, because you can always fix it. Just be careful when handling, because it could be hot, like Avery. Then do another turn, creating a little envelope. You can put it back on the heat for a little more color. Add some more sugar and another drizzle of lemon juice.
To give an extra dimension, Avery is using Mrs. Bridges' lemon and lime marmalade. We'll have a link for where you can find this in the description below. Just be careful of the seeds. Add a good helping of marmalade if you want it really lemony. Now it's tasting time. This is my favorite part. Because the crepe was still hot, the lemon juice and sugar has created its own sauce. And there you have it, a simple breakfast, or in our case, dinner. Thank you for watching today's crepe video. If you learned something, leave a like, or a comment, or even subscribe. See you next time.